here we are at home. Helen's now at work. Um, I've been to work and I've just come home. I thought I'd quickly shoot this um, and maybe get some editing done today for the next videos. Um, yeah, so obviously in the last episode, it was highlighting the issues that we had and the steep learning curve that we had. And it wasn't just because we were tired, it was cause we, because we were inexperienced and in a rush. Um, and it was certainly a case of more haste, less speed. If we had delayed it for a day and actually made sure that we'd thought about it and prepared properly and et cetera, et cetera, then um, I'm sure things wouldn't have been as traumatic as they were for those first two days. Here's one thing that I didn't mention in episode two, the catalogue of nightmares. I think it's entitled um, Rookie Mistakes. After all that, we got it all set up. Um, I sat down and I thought, you know what? If any time deserves a glass of wine, it's now. So I got this bottle opener and I started opening this bottle of wine and I leave it up, it was a little dumb waiter, and I leave it up to get the cork out, and it snapped. And I thought that was funny, because I thought, after everything, I can't even get this bottle of wine open, and the equipment that I've got to do that has broken. So I found that quite amusing, and I kind of said to myself, yep, that's, that's about right. But it didn't end there. In my wisdom and tiredness, I decided that I was determined to have a glass of wine. So I pushed the the cork into the bottle and of course what happened then is the wine went pfft everywhere, all over me, all over the inside of the awning, all over the stuff that we had in the awning when taking out the van like our bed sheets, like um, our suitcase, all over the uh, tarpaulin we had on the floor, all up the sides. So, um, yeah, I should have just gone to bed. No one tells me what time to go to bed. Go to bed, spotty. <laughs> but anyway, we had a really nice time the next day. What we decided to do is we decided that we would do a, a bit of a reconnaissance mission to find out where everything was. We'd heard so many things and so many places that we go to, go to, should go to see in the area that we're staying. And even the campsite was recommended to us by a friend. So we'd heard lots of things, but we didn't know where they were in relationship to us. So we decided to head off out for the day and um, go and see some of these places. YouTube channel is called The Adventures of Juno and Jeff. But we haven't told you much about Juno yet, but we will in the next episode. We'll tell you all about her, how we rescued her, and the issues that we have with her. She just gets scared all the time. If she's not familiar with her surroundings, such as getting out of the car, then we have real problems. If she's not familiar with walking down the street, she just doesn't like it. So this is one of the reasons why we wanted to take her on these trips, to start familiarizing her with different places, different smells, and different experiences. So when we show you more about Juno, you'll see that she's come such a long way. me I say it's coming in wider as a star will die getting brighter you say go out what you think unclench this fist that holds me I say it's coming in deeper as the silence blows me to meet her you say go out what you think unclench this fist that holds me
Definitely feeling much more like we were on holiday. We headed back to the campsite to relax and have a barbecue. So at home, Juno has a chair that's kind of dedicated to her. It's where she spends most evenings with us while we watch TV. And it's also kind of a go-to place where she relaxes and has a little nap. So I think in the camper van, the passenger seat, which swivels round, is her safe place. It's not only comfortable, but it's also familiar to her. It's her safe space, it's her chair. So in this bit of footage, you can see that she's trying to hint to me to turn the chair around so that she can sit in it. And also there's the added bonus that she can sit up and watch the world go by. campsites you're meant to keep dogs on the lead but Juno is just not that kind of dog you can't keep her on a lead it just adds to her anxiety <laughs> but her anxiety actually makes it a little bit easier for us sometimes because in this sort of situation, if she does wander off, you know she's not going to be far at all. She's just not comfortable being very far away from either Helen or I. <laughs> Making the most of the sunshine, we had a little muck around on site. 
before having a barbecue, and Juno took herself to bed. But to be fair, Helen and I weren't far behind her. How are you getting on down there? Very content. Is that bed? Nice and cozy. Juno's accommodated this swing round chair. Which she seems to be very comfortable on, so. Yeah. But we still need to figure something out. I think maybe we need to make. Oh, I got an idea. What? We could commandeer Mum to make a bed that fits in this. So you just slide it in. No, it'll work. Yeah, yeah. Get mum to actually make a bed for her. Proper padded. Yeah. Mum can actually, yeah, she'd love that. Well, I don't know. Yeah, she'd love that. 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 Yeah, she'd love